Sister Joan, what I'd like you to do is just give us just an observational report, okay, of what happened in that place, what God did in the place, if he did anything. And um, because it's important that we, we, we see really truly what we're to, you know, what's going on. So uh, we'll start with Joan and then Lorraine, you can add if you have to have anything to add. Father, all glory and honor be unto you. Well, on Saturday was awesome. God manifested himself in the lives of everyone that participated on Saturday. I was so joyful to see God, our living God, the living God, touch each and every person that attended the service on Saturday. The power of the Holy Spirit was so strong, everybody that was touched was slain in the Spirit. Everyone that was there experienced a touch from God and the impartation of what happened there on Saturday in the lives of God people was transformation. There were some people that have never experienced a touch from the Almighty God. Some may be skeptical, maybe because they have never gone to the right church where the power of God falls down. But on Saturday, I am here to say that I have experienced the touch of God before. And for my own personal testimony, once again, I was touched in a mighty way on Saturday, including everyone that came up. They were touched. The Holy Spirit moved in them, and there were transformation instantly. And I give God all the praise and the glory. But I do have a testimony. Sunday we went to church, and when we, when I walked in the church, with my husband, I sat up front, and for some reason when the worship team went up on the altar and they were playing the music, there was a very heavy weight, like a, 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 a weighty spirit in there, it's like nothing was moving, it's like the Holy Spirit was not present, and I remember the Holy Spirit told me to just get up and go and lay on the altar. Amen. So I got up and I went on the altar, and I started praying in the Spirit and saying, Spirit of the living God, move in your people right now. Spirit of the living God, move in your people right now. And that's all I keep repeating. And wow. then the Holy Spirit, the place just started moving. Even the pastor, she confirmed afterwards, she says she didn't know what happened. Usually she comes in with a hearty spirit, but for some reason, she just was not getting it. It's after I went and lay on the altar, the Holy Spirit that moved. And, you know, when I looked behind, I saw my husband on the side of me. So he came to also on the altar. Not even knowing my friend Lorraine was right on the altar too. And when I got up and after things was moving and you could feel the presence of the Lord and the glory of the Lord in the place, I looked beyond again and here comes Tim and his wife. Two other people that were in the praise and worship here on Saturday. So they really understand what it is to bow before God. And we all wow. at, on Saturday went up to the altar. And it was after that everything just flowed. The Holy Spirit oh, just flowed in that church. He just flowed in that church. And I give God the glory because I know worship, what worship is all about. You know, sometimes yeah. we go to church and we praise God. Yes, it's very important to praise God for what He has done for us. But when we could go and kneel and bow or prostrate ourselves before our living God, just for who He is, just for who He is, I'm telling you, when we continue living a life of worship for God, there is nothing that could take the place of that. True worship. God is taken for that. So I give God the glory. And this is a testimony that going up on the altar, kneeling, bowing, and prostrate ourselves before our living God will make the Holy Spirit move in us and through us. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Lorraine. Hallelujah. Do you, do you have anything to add to that through your experience, through your observation? Yes. Well, there is not much to add, but I do have something to say. Uh, I have said before that I am fairly new walking with Jesus, and um, uh -huh. I haven't been on this walk very long, but um, on Saturday, I was so blessed to have been part of this ga the gathering. 
children, and I had mm. never, I had heard of people being in being touched by the Holy Spirit. I was even at some point a little skeptical until Saturday when I was touched, not once, but twice. I was more than touched. I was thrown down, and wow, glory. And and even now, I still I haven't gotten over it. Just the fact, knowing that I was so blessed to have been in the presence. That was my proof that I was in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And Jacob, I have to tell you that I am even more blessed to be in this place here with Joan and her husband, where they worship God. It is part of their daily lifestyle. They wake up and they worship. The Lord and I am in their home and I share the worship on a morning and on an evening and I go down on the floor and somehow the the praise and the music in the background the worship music it just scares us my soul it rings tears out of me I cannot help it there's always a pool of water on Joan's floor I cannot I I still cannot get over the fact that I am allowed into God's throne room of grace that I can lie wow. at the truth. I can lie at the wow. truth. My Lord did, you know, mm. and that I am even allowed to be in there. I cannot mm. I, I get over it yet. I don't know if I ever mm. will. Uh -huh. But I do not want, I do not want to live any other way. And I want this mm. for everybody that I know. You know, I, I will not give this up. There is nothing. There is nothing that Satan can dangle in front of me to make me turn Amen. away from that I am on. And I thank you, Jesus, for being among us, for opening Amen. our hearts and our, our minds to what true worship is. And Amen. we want you to come back again because there are other Amen. we want to experience this. Including, including our pastor, he's going to come this time. Oh, yes. Um, Praise we are, God. We are in the, Praise God. I, I I am so happy that you gave this testimony for everybody because I know yes. that lives tonight, lives yes. tonight are being changed through the anointing that God has used both of you tonight. Uh, there was an yes. anointing that you're both carrying now since you've been imparted. Yes. And there are many on this telephone tonight, okay, who haven't made worship truly part of their life on a daily basis. And uh, I believe, I truly believe that there are some on this telephone tonight who have gotten their biggest breakthrough uh, by you giving testimony because basically it was just a, tr a truthful as is testimony and it's what everybody truly wants. So I, I want to just encourage everyone on this telephone tonight. I could talk for two hours, but guess what? I don't have to because like she said, it's a privilege to be able to be allowed into the Holy of Holies. It's the only thing we really have on this earth that's left. And for those who haven't made the secret place their home, I'm going to encourage you tonight. Please, 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 please. This, where else are you going to go?